Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Dwyer. I'm the Vice President of Research for the SOA Institute. I'd like to spend the next 10 minutes explaining the value of this course entitled SOA 101, Understanding SOA. This course is the introductory course for SOA 101. Uh, it's part of our Certificate of Training Program. And as the introductory course, its uh, mission is to explain to the attendee uh, an overview of SOA, the basic concepts of SOA. Uh, it is intended for managers uh, and business people. Uh, while we will go through a fair amount of technology, it will be at the functional level. And the uh, intent is to give a good grounding in the broad concepts of SOA. Uh, to understand the business value of uh, investigating and, and um, employing SOA principles uh, within your company. Uh, we'll also be explaining how SOA is complementary to a couple of other technologies and methodologies around business process management and business rules. And finally, we will um, use this course to review some case studies from successful implementations of SOA, and we'll review various approaches to how you might expand SOA throughout your enterprise. Uh, attendees of this course have uh, commented to me uh, uh, what they perceive to be the unique value of this course. Um, and some of the things they've told me is one, uh, they not only learn what SOA is to make sure they understand it, but they also understand how to assess the business value and to plan for the uh, introduction of SLA in the organization. Uh, they've also commented that a lot of material we cover uh, makes them understand some of the key elements of a successful SLA program. Uh, they appreciate understanding who is benefiting from SLA, both qualitatively and quantitatively. We review not only uh, the value proposition and business benefits in broad terms uh, from SOA, but we also provide uh, quantitative measures around return on investment, around um, shrinking the time it takes to build new SOA applications, uh, the time it takes to deploy new uh, innovative business models that are supported uh, more quickly by uh, information technology that's been developed using SOA. Uh, another value proposition around SOA is its ability to leverage existing IT assets and to reuse business assets. So we explain how that is done and again we quantify the cost and dollar savings uh, that organizations have reported. Uh, and finally, we go into a little bit more detail on uh, just how SOA and business process management together uh, are very complementary and how they are bringing business people and IT people uh, more together, uh, the ability to communicate more uh, around a common set of vocabulary and the ability to work together uh, in approaching and implementing uh, projects that have both a, a business and an IT uh, requirement in them. I'd just like to uh, share with you some comments that other people have uh, told me about the course, things that they have reported um, in surveys that we have held, uh, collecting feedback from folks who have attended the class, or uh, directly said to me during the class uh, some of the things that they found uh, need to dive uh, about it. Uh, one, it is a very broad course, so we, we cover a lot of material. Uh, and intentionally, I don't go into a lot of depth in most areas because I want to make sure that we, that the attendees have a good understanding of the entire breadth of SOA. Uh, since most of the folks in it are, uh, are business people, uh, they've commented to me, commented to me that uh, they really appreciate that I didn't uh, drive into too much technical detail, which would have been beyond their specific knowledge area, uh, but instead was able to translate the uh, the technology that they might be hearing about inside the company and helping them understand what they were hearing, but more importantly, understanding the business aspect of what they were hearing. 
As I said at the very beginning, uh, this course is one of a series in our uh, SOA training program. Uh, we have a certificate of training for both the business uh, process management suite, which includes uh, BPM, business architecture, organizational performance, and business rules. And we also have a certificate of training around service-oriented architecture. In each case, um, every one of these courses count toward a certificate of training. Uh, we have successfully given these courses to over 1,000 businesses and technology professionals from over 300 uh, organizations. Uh, the people who have taken our courses uh, span a spectrum of roles from both uh, from the enterprise, both business and IT people. And uh, as I said earlier, the uh, a lot of our training courses have a common goal, which is to establish a common vocabulary that enables both business and IT folks to communicate together at the same level. In addition to uh, our certificate of training, which is offered through our event-based training in those four cities I mentioned to you, we also provide custom training where we can deliver courses at your customer location, and those courses also count toward your certificate of training. Uh, we're very uh, pleased to be able to offer this and continue uh, the effort we started two years ago, and uh, we're very excited about being able to provide uh, a level of information that complements the information that you're getting at our events. Uh, as well as to our online community. So looking forward to uh, seeing you at one of my courses, and thank you very much for attending, and have a pleasant day.